Hello, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Welcome to my Real Estate Maven online channel where life, real estate, and economics made simple. And thank you once again for, for tuning in in our channel. So right now, please do like, share, and subscribe to our channel and in Facebook and in YouTube, my Real Estate Maven. So please do share this for people whom you think will benefit our topic today. Our topic today is say yes to mortgage only if. Diba? Mahamaya pag-uusapan natin yan. What are the reasons to say yes to mortgage? So, ayan. Please do share this um, video for us to uh, reach more people in uh, sharing this message of today's topic. Yeah, so welcome, welcome. Hi James. Yeah, please. Yeah, so last time diba, we discussed ayan nakita niyo yung video from Prof Ronilo of um our topic na where are the paths of progress diba? and he discussed to us very thoroughly diba ano yung mga locations regions in the Philippines where still investors can invest and the growth the growths are high diba we have mga nasa fa, nasa 6 7 8 9 percent growth rate nung regions diba Dabao, Bicol areas diba Ayan. so marami kaya please do share and like and subscribe our today's topic so, yan. Yan ang ating topic today that iti-discuss natin. So, please do like, share, and subscribe to our channel. And welcome, welcome back again to the MECQ time. So, MECQ time ngayon. So, stay at home. Let's us help na ma-plotten na ang curve. Na wala na masyadong ma-infect. So, stay at home. Be responsible. Uh, not only for yourselves, but for others also. Na hindi na magkaroon ng... Uh, further infections yung ibang mga tao. So again, uh, let me just reiterate, the purpose of our channel is for us to invite people to become the real estate maven of their family. Since grown up naman kayo and looking for real estate investment or looking for investment, it is high time for you to become, uh, to take charge, no? to take charge on your real estate investments or real estate properties that your family have. Diba? Invest na yung parents mo or yung brother mo or sister mo or looking for other partners. Why don't you work on together for you to be able to maximize the properties that you already have? Because again, we believe that together as a family, we can make things happen. All right. So if you have questions, please do uh, type in your questions if you have one. So while we are discussing our our topic today is say yes to mortgage. Alam niyo, one time, so let, let's start, no? Let's start, no? One time, meron akong client, sabi niya sa akin, Mams, alam mo ba, he's like mga nasa 50 or 60 years old. Sabi niya, alam mo ba, itong bahay namin, the ancestral house namin, never itong na mortgage, no? For the last 30 years or 40 years, malinis yung title nito. Please go to my website, MarylEstateMaven.com. Sign up, no? Fill out the form, your name and email, so that we can send you our our ebook. My ebook, ayan. So yeah, get a copy. It's free, no? Most of the uh, right now, the topics that I'm discussing dito online are the topics that I've written sa sa ebook. But if you want the compilation of uh, the topics and the journeys that I have. In real estate, so yeah, it's free. MarielEstateMaven.com, and I'm also working on another ebook. Ayan, abangan niyo yon. It's about having your passive income that you can start, di ba, immediately. So that will be my another ebook. Ayan. So please, again, welcome, welcome to my channel, Maril Estate Maven Online. Please do like, subscribe my channel for for updates and more. Uh, videos in real estate life and economics so yeah next week we will have a very good topic also um uh, it's about tidying tidying up your home Ayan. so dahil mecq tayo ngayon so 
maglilinis kayo ulit ang bahay. Kaya let's remind ourselves again. Okay, let's start. Let's let me start my my sharing with you. So, nag-start ako kanina, sabi ko, there's one the seller, this the seller of a property na sabi niya sa akin na I never mortgage my property for the last 30 years or 40 years. So, malinis na malinis ito. Titulo niyan um yung pwedeng ano um it's yung pwede nang mapunit kaagad. And on. so I totally agree with that no I totally agree with that you know you don't need to mortgage for property but your property but let me just add one one word or two words for that no do not mortgage your property if you're using it for luxury I will agree we agree that you do not mortgage your property if you will use it for luxury. Alam naman natin kung ano yung mga luxury, di ba? Yung mga bagay na gusto lang natin for aesthetic purpose, di ba? For display. Pero I have nothing against with that, no? Kung kaya mo naman, kung kitingita naman yung pinambili doon, so by all means, di ba? Buy luxurious things, di ba? If you can afford it. But for you to mortgage property to buy luxurious things, uh, I hope uh, hindi yun yung gagawin natin. Okay? So let's start now. So let me just give you first first three major reasons why are you going to say yes to mortgage. You will say yes to mortgage if for home improvement. Di ba? Home improvement. Di ba? You can get a loan from the bank using your property as a collateral, yung bahay mo, yung lupa mo, for home improvement. Home improvement, not just for, again, for aesthetic, no? Para lang gumanda yung bahay mo, para maging bago yung pintura, madagdagan mo ng mga accessories, di ba? But you want to add value to your home. How do you add value to your home? A home improvement that you will add extra room uh, i've mentioned this before some previous videos that when you add i started no, literally beside my bed diba? bedside diba? Kung napapaupahan ko yung bedside ko, how much more if you have extra rooms no so you can have extra rooms by all means diba sempre ko compute mo naman yung yung magkano yung magiging paupa doon diba kaya ba ng sweldo mo and then may long term naman na appreciation yung property kasi nag-improve yung yung improvement niya diba so may mga appreciation tayong isasama doon diba so with that you can uh, uh, get a loan from the property or you can add another floor nasa second floor kayo or nasa third floor kayo Meron akong friend, ginawa niya yung first two floors ng bahay niya, rental apartment, ginawa niyang maliliit, di ba? And then, on the third floor, yung roof deck, di ba? Meron silang maliit na uh, parang half nung roof deck, di ba? Three floors siya, half nung roof deck. Bahay niya, tintira nila mag-asawa, din isa nilang anak, di ba? Tapos, uh, ginawa niyang ano, yun yung bahay niya. Tapos may space pa siya for, for events niya, di ba? First floor, second floor, pinaupahay niya. Pwede yun. So, with that, you can say yes to mortgage, di ba? If you will um, do home improvements, something like that, di ba? Kung two-story siya ngayon, so pwede mong gawing three-story, di ba? Or kaya four-story, di ba? Wala pang elevator. Number two, get a loan. Say, Morticia, if you were gonna build a new house or an apartment, ito yung binabanggit ko kanina din. For sale or for lease. Diba? So, pwede mong gamitin yung first house mo to build a new house or a new apartment that you can have it for sale or for lease. It's up to you. Depende sa financial goal mo about that property. Diba? Pero, uh, what I'm saying is you can get a loan from the bank to build a house, di ba? Whether, or, or, or whether ibenta mo siya or paupahan mo siya. You can add more value to your property kapag na-build mo na siya. Kaya yung lotem, uh, pag nakapag-build ka ng bago, 
na, na improvements, it will give you additional or higher value. Sabi mo, wala naman akong pera, Mabs, eh, to, to build it. No, no. You have your house today and you have your income right now na tingin mo, pwede ka ma, 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 ma-approve ng bank for loan. We'll really need you to to pay for it first. You know, pay for it first na kumbaga parang um kasi mag-loan ka eh tapos patay mo muna siya or for sale or no or apart, uh, apartment. Kumbaga meron ka muna ng itataya talaga dito na na ikaw muna magbayad ng amortization, make sure na for the next one year na for example, wala kang kukunin income out of the apartment or out of the uh, house na binebenta mo. Para lang meron ka lang allowance for that, di ba? Ayan. So at least ngayon, uh, before six months, six months lang yung allowance. Pero ngayon, we 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 wanted it na at least one year. Di ba? So that's the number to build a new house or apartment for sale or for lease. You can say yes to mortgage. So ito na. Number three. Buy. Kanina build eh, di ba? So pwede pala yun, no? Makag-build ako. Uh, using may another property. Ngayon naman, you can buy a new house to sell or to rent. For example, meron akong uh, kilala, uh, meron siyang binibiling lot or agricultural lot because uh, maliit masyado yung yung value ng lot or masyadong or, um, hindi kaya nung, nung value ng nung lot na maliit lang kasi yung loanable amount kapag agricultural lot eh. So, ang ginawa niya para less ano na process and mas faster that he can get kasi good deal niya naman na bibili eh. So yun yung maganda eh kapag may good deal madali ka makabili. If you have a house already that is ready for kumbaga for loan, di ba? May credit line ka through your home, di ba? Yung value ng bahay mo um certain percentage of that value can be loanable to you. Pero you have to prepare yourself for that, di ba? Yan. So, yun. So, pwede kang bumili ng bagong um, property out of your house, di ba? Or new house nga. Pwede kasi, meron kasi isa, meron, for example, meron siya gustong biling bahay, di ba? Eh, yung bahay na yun, for example, meron pang inaayos ng kaso. Eh, pag may mga ganun, kaso, may mga ganun hindi mo pa siya pwede kuhanin na loan until you finish all the the kaso out of the property. But because, again, maybe it's a good deal that you can buy the house, di ba? Tapos sell it eventually or have it rented, nag-compute ka, pag pinaupahan mo to, ganito yung magiging income niya, makakapambayad ng amortization, di ba? By all means, get the loan, di ba? From the property. It should be calculated, di ba? It should be calculated uh, kung magkano yung magiging amortization mo for that uh, property. That's the three things, di ba? The three major things why you need to mortgage your property. Why you need to say yes to, to mortgage, sorry. So again, no, ulitin ko lang. So say yes to mortgage if you wanted to have an improvement that will add value to your home. Di ba? That is having extra room or having extra rooms or having extra floors. Diba? That will add additional income to the family. Number two, that build a new, you can say yes to mortgage if you want to build a new house or apartment that you can sell, that you can sell, or for lease. It's okay to say yes to mortgage to your current property. And number three, if you have a property that you want to buy and you're going to buy it again either to sell or to rent. So, minsan kasi, ang ganda, kasi meron ako siyang friend, uh, yung bahay niya, for example, value ng bahay niya, loanable amount of, out of his house is uh, 10 million. Loanable, ah. Loanable out of his house. Kasi, over time, nag-increase, nag-appreciate na yung value ng bahay niya. Hindi niya alam na ganun na pala yung value ng bahay niya. Until, she was looking for an investment property. Diba? So, meron siya nakita ang investment property na worth 2 million. And this investment property, kailangan niya bayarin ng cash. Because she really wants that investment property. Diba? What she did is, she mortgaged the house that merong loanable about the 10 million. 
he, she got the two million and then bought another property, di ba, for investment. So nakuha niya na because nag-increase na yung value ng bahay niya, ng property niya, ang tawag natin doon, nag-increase na yung equity ng bahay niya, that she can get already loan, no? Out of, na, meron siyang 10 million loanable from the house na meron siya. Kasi yung house na yun, sobrang tagal na, more than 20 years na, more than 30 years na, di ba? So, nag-build up na yung equity ng property na kaya niya na mag-loan na 10 million. Now that she is looking for investment property, she can now use that house to get a loan. Diba? Ang galing na. And then, kaya niyang bilhin ng cash. And it's a good deal. Because it's a good deal, kaya niyang bilhin ng cash. So that's the purpose of saying yes to mortgage. You can buy property. You can invest in a property using the equity of your uh, current property. Diba? To buy another property. It builds up over time. So ngayon, yung bago niyong biniling property, maybe build up din yung equity non That eventually, she can use it for a uh, loan again. For, uh, so nakita niyo how the power of compounding in property when you, over time, di ba? When you, when you gain, when you buy properties, nagigain yung value ng property over time that you can use it, that you can leverage it, ayan, for for technical terms, that you can leverage it to buy another property. Ah, mayroon pala ako number four. Because it's pandemic, wala, wala akong slides for that. It's, ano yun, a bonus yun ng mga manonood. Pero number four, get a mortgage for emergencies. Of course, meron tayong uh, pandemic. Ah, meron tayong pandemic, di ba? So, there are a lot of emergencies that you think. So, this is the time. Na, that you can get a loan in the hope that or you have a plan to number one if you're gonna sell the property eventually diba? it's easier kasi that or you already have prepared credit line from the bank that anytime you need it kukuni mo na lang siya diba? so especially now that we are um, in pandemic and you have a lot of emergencies kung may kakarang kayo na emergencies kailangan ito talaga uh, emergencies when we say may hospital, kailangan nyo ng bayad, whatever. Diba? So, um, that eventually, um, pwede mong maging exit, diba? If you cannot really pay, diba? Just sell that, sell out the property. Diba? So, you have to be prepared for that. I mean, when you mortgage a property, your exit is either you're willing to let go eventually. If you really, if really, hindi na kaya, wala na magawang ibang paraan, di ba? Yun na yung magiging best solutions to everyone. Ayun, so yun yung number four. You can mortgage a property if there are emergencies. Makikita natin yan ngayon during this pandemic. And makikita din natin ngayon that properties can be somehow liquid, di ba? Because you already have a ready credit from the bank but that any time, as long as credentials that you have before when you were approved of the loan is still the same right now. Diba? So, yun naman yun. Na parang, parang ka lang, ano, nag-withdraw. Nag-withdraw ka from the equity of the house or the property that you have. Diba? Isn't it that great to have a real estate property that you can really maximize and use during, especially during in, uh, this pandemic or emergencies that you, that you will have. So, yon. So, that's the number four. Let me just remind you, when we leverage, again, we aggregate and organize the existing resources to achieve success. Sabi yan ni Richie Norton, the power of starting something. So, what we are doing when we mortgage the property is we are leveraging it. No? Big word siya, parang napaka-nosebleed niya. Diba? Sa iba. Pero my dear brothers and sisters, it's basically getting a loan from the property, whether from the bank or private lenders. Diba? But basically, mas mabuti kung sa bank para mas mababa lang yung interest. You're gonna say yes to real estate mortgage. 
let me just go back. My question here, what if naka-mortgage na siya? Diba? Pero, hindi pa siya tapos bayaran. Can I mortgage it again? Ang maganda, if naka-mortgage na siya, in reality, mas madali siyang i-mortgage ulit. Yeah, that's one idea that you can have. Number two, you can mortgage it again if you've been paying for it for many years na. <clears throat> Ako ay suggest, at least if you already have nasa mga 80% na nung loan yung nababayaran nyo. Meaning, matagal nyo na siyang binabayaran. Uh, hindi ko sure kung. Basta mga 80% na ng loan. Nag-appreciate na yung property. Baka yung loan na nakuha mo before, you can get higher loan because over time, nag-increase na yung value ng property. And yung magiging loanable amount mo, mas malaki na. Yan ang sagot sa ating tanong. So if you have more questions, please do type in. So that's again our reasons to say yes to mortgage. And again, if you need more information, more sharings about real estate, please do download my ebook, my real estate maven at my real estate maven dot com. That wraps up our topic today. Diba? Say yes to mortgage with those following reasons, diba? with those four reasons. Diba? Um, siguro, uh, last three things ulit, diba? last three things ulit that you, you need to know when you mortgage your property. Importante rin to. Diba? First is, as much as possible, get the longest term that you can. The younger you are, the longer term that you can have. Minsan, yung ibang bank, 60 years old, maximum um, age, di ba? 65, ganyan. Less your age will be your term, maximum term. For example, uh, 60 minus, you're 40 right now, 60 minus 40, you can get uh, 20 years term pa, maximum. That's the maximum, no? Depende naman sa capacity mo. Marami silang iba pa. But at least, that's the general idea for uh, giving you the term. ba? So, tapos, number two, uh, when you already have the loan, ba? most of the time, during anniversary year or one year of the property, you can pay extra. ba? Not only the amortization, but you can pay extra. Pay the principal. ba? To shorten the term. Kasi pwede mo naman talaga yung pa over time, di ba? Very important then to know um, yung pre-termination fee kung meron ba. Mas maganda kung wala. But that's the one that you need to check as much as possible, di ba? And also, when you get the loan, bear in mind that whatever income that you have, you should only pay the amortization maximum, 30% of the income that you have. Diba? More than that, mahihirapan ka na because you all, you all have other expenses, especially if that property is not making money yet first. Diba? If you're gonna wait one year pa, two years pa, para talagang. So, make sure to allot lang 30% of your gross income para hindi ka maipit diba? when you get a loan. So those are the things that you have to learn, diba? Uh, when you want to mortgage your house or your property to improve your home, to build a new house or apartment, or to buy a new house, diba? Or buy a new apartment. So you can use, no? This is the message that we want. You can use an asset. Yung bahay mo, it's an asset to buy another asset. And make sure that when you buy another asset, it will be income generating that will give you security for diba, the property. Then over time, may ipon mo siya. So this is so powerful. Napakaganda nitong um, concept na ito when, with, sa real estate. No? It's very, only few people um, understand this that they can use the property that they already have.
to buy another property. Watch again this video for you to understand more or you can ask me, send me a message if you want to understand more about this. But again, you can maximize or use your royal property. Diba? Medyo, ano siya, medyo uncomfortable siya at first. Oh my God, magkakaroon ako ng loan. Ayoko magkautang, ayoko umutang, ganyan, di ba? But, mind you, kapag kumikita na yung property na binili mo at nababayaran niya yung utang mo sa banko, you will not uh, be hesitating, uh, you will not be hesitating to buy again another property using another property and getting a mortgage or, or saying yes to mortgage. Ayan. So with that, thank you so much for joining me this afternoon. But yes, uh, Raymond, it's a good debt, diba? Good debt ang tawag natin dito because you're using the property, you're getting a debt, diba? That will give you income eventually. Diba? So yun yung gusto natin. Diba? Don't Again, don't mortgage your house if you're gonna buy a luxury. Mortgage your house if it's gonna you're gonna use it for real estate business, which means it will give you an income eventually on top more than the mortgage that you got. So I hope I made it clear and I hope um, you become the real estate maven of your family. Take charge. Learn as much as you can and about the property that you already have. You don't allow other people to yet to know more, uh, you, more about your property. Kailangan kayo yan. Kayo nakakaalam ng property ninyo because it's yours. It was given to you. Diba? Kung pinamana yan sa inyo, bigay yan, ni, bigay yan ng, mga, ng, ng mga parents mo. Diba? Bigay, it, bigay, diba? for you to maximize it and use it diba? to, 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 to fulfill the dreams that you have or your family have. Diba? Maximize it. Diba? Don't just let it uh, stay there without doing anything. Diba? Unless the purpose of the property is really oh, just stay there for capital gains over time. There are that reason. But what I'm saying is... Um, you have the property right now work on it maximize it if it's necessary or if it's mortgage it to buy another property and make improvements on it to build on it and to and eventually that will give you income you know, it's either income a recurring income or I don't know, active in or one-time income if because it's for sale by all means, as long as that you you were able to maximize the property that you already have. Okay, so thank you so much again. And um, thank you for watching my Real Estate Maven. Please do like and subscribe my channel uh, in YouTube and in Facebook. Be the Real Estate Maven of your family. Take charge. Because I believe together as a family, we can make things happen. Thank you so much and God bless you all. And see you next week. Next week, we will be having Sis Ken, uh, Katrina de la Cruz for tidying up your home. Diba? Sobrang galing itong kaibigan natin na to. In cleaning up the house in 10 minutes, 15 minutes. So, bayon, you're so busy person, pero you can clean up the house diba? in 10, 15 minutes. Diba? Two-story house. Diba? Exciting yan. And in the next session, so you will be having again Propronilo. Ayan. So updates on uh, for our economics session, di ba? Like import tayo ng economics para. Yeah, so far yun muna. Para ma-excite kayo. So, so tune in next Thursday. Uh, we'll be doing it again for 4.30. 4 4.30 na tayo. Ayan. Thank you. God bless you all. Mm -hmm.